There's no doubt that Kevin Hart is box office gold. But is he likable? Well, that one is up for debate. But that little dude right there, I'm going to get my daughter to slap shit out of him. <laughs> oh, I had a pro- oh, yes, I got a daughter his height that'll <laughs> knock him out. As a comedian, people can expect Kevin to ruffle some feathers, but there have been plenty of times when his mouth and his actions have gotten him into some major trouble. A lot of people don't like him because of the way he treated his ex-wife, Tori. But today, we'll be discussing other incidents outside of his romantic life that have rubbed people the wrong way. Before we jump into other people's business, don't forget to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of beef and bacon jerky to green apple licorice and bacon cheddar popcorn. Colorism has a long, ugly history in the black community. While many have fought to combat it, Kevin has embraced it by tweeting some not-so-funny observations at the expense of his highly melanated sisters. In a 2010 tweet, Kevin wrote, Hands down, light-skinned women usually have better credit than a dark-skinned woman. Broke. Dark. LOL. The tweet was uncovered years later, and Kevin addressed it during a 2014 interview with Playboy magazine. He said he was just being silly and was talking about a trending topic with the online community. Wait, when was dark-skinned women's credit a trending topic? Hmm... Anyway, he said it was all comedy and he didn't feel the need to apologize for something that was misconstrued by the public and taken out of context. In December 2018, Kevin was announced as the host for the 2019 Oscars. He was on top of the world, up until some old tweets resurfaced. Between 2009 and 2011, Kevin had a field day making gay jokes and even dropped the F word in several tweets. In one tweet, he also wrote that if he ever caught his son playing with a dollhouse, he would break it over his head to teach him a lesson. Once these tweets were discovered, the Academy demanded he apologize, but Kevin refused to do so. So the Academy gave him the boot. A few days later, he finally deleted the controversial tweets and issued an apology that read, I'm sorry that I hurt people. I am evolving and want to continue to do so. Was he really sorry or did he just want his hosting gig back? In 2020, Kevin's already rocky relationship with women came to a head when he put his little foot in his big mouth by using his teen daughter to make a point. In his Netflix special, Zero given, he talked about how his then 15-year-old daughter frequently switched who she was crushing on, and he found her behavior alarming. Instantly, in my mind, I said my daughter a hoe. Activity right in front of my face. Did Kevin apologize? (laughs) You already know the answer. He called the people who were outraged a bunch of haters who were wishing for his downfall. So Kevin posted a video on Instagram imploring people to stop with the false narrative. He said he never called his daughter a He only said she was displaying like activity. Although Mike Epps and Kevin were cool at one point and even worked together, their friendship eventually soured and they've been beefing since 2011. The beef started with me cracking a joke. We was, I was talking about him like, oh, look at you, you got some ugly shoes, blah, 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 blah. And he went there and started talking about my career. During a 2014 appearance on DD in the Morning, Mike called Kevin an overrated comedian and that the industry was forcing Kevin on the public. Kevin tweeted he personally missed the comments because he was busy working and wondered if Mike remembered what that was like. Here's my thing. Dude, don't come for me. We're in two different levels. Until you do better with your ticket sales, leave Kevin Hart's name out your mouth. Kevin then threatened to book shows in the same city and on the same days as Mike to shut him down and shut him up. Oh yeah, he also said Mike could go on and take his own life. By 2017, the two posted an Instagram video stating it was nothing but love between them. And they even called each other comedic brothers. I said, hey Mike, what the man what, what's going on with us might go kevin bipolar i go well mike that's because i got nothing but love for you mike say i want to be 
is what it is. Man, I love you. You love me. Be cool about it. I say fine, Mike. So now people just let the world know. Face to face, man. The man we all were supposed to be. Comedic brothers. Love him. He loved me. Best. However, the brotherly love didn't last because a year later, Mike shared a photo of himself with Eddie Murphy and someone commented, Eddie Murphy is funnier than Kevin Hart still. Mike responded, everybody is. And just like that, the beef was back on like Donkey Kong. Kevin responded it was a shame that everybody wasn't selling tickets like him. He also called Mike a sad individual, but also said he wanted to see Mike level up and win just like him. Mike finally responded by telling Kevin to stop playing the victim and stop taking everything personal. After all the animosity, Kevin declared on Drink Champs in 2022 that he and Mike were in a better place and might work together in the future. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. During a 2018 appearance on Frank and Wanda in the Morning, Cat Williams clowned Tiffany Haddish by calling her unfunny. Knock it off. They like her because she want to sleep with a white man. That's why the only thing she said was, I want to give it to Brad Pitt. No, no, yeah. I was talking to Elizabeth, Elizabeth uh, Perkins, yes. and her husband was in the elevator, and, and then Brad Pitt was standing right next to me, and then Elizabeth's husband was like, man, I hope we don't get caught in this elevator. And I was like, it's going to be some pretty babies in this elevator. <laughs> Kevin came to his night school co-star's defense while visiting The Breakfast Club and called Cat out for trying to bring down other black comedians. To prove he was the good guy in comedy circles, Kevin shouted out female comedians under Cat's umbrella, like Leslie Jones, and said she made it to the top without much help from Cat. But Leslie said, ah, ah, not so fast. Leslie told Bossip website that it was Chris Rock and fellow comedian Neil Brennan who were responsible for putting her on. She did add that Kat brought her on tour and Kevin could have done the same, but he didn't. Leslie added, Kevin never respected me or my comedy and trust I can call his card. He know I can. She also dropped a bombshell by telling the website that Kevin once told her she would never make it in the comedy industry. She then advised everyone to keep her name out of their mouths. Kevin got the message loud and clear. A source close to him told Hollywood Life website he was shocked by Leslie's diss because he thought they were cool. Former NBA player Kwame Brown wasn't pleased when he watched the 2021 remake of Different Strokes, in which Kevin played Gary Coleman's character, Arnold. Since Kevin was technically portraying a kid, in one scene he was carried by and sat in the lap of his white daddy, portrayed by actor John Lithgow. In a video, Kwame said, Kevin Hart, what the hell are you, boy? You can already pay all your goddamn bills, and you got a white man walking you into a goddamn living room right after they tell us that you a billionaire. They still gonna show us that you still a weak millionaire, billionaire puppet. In my opinion, are you kidding me, boy? And I'm going to call your boy because that's how they look at you. As of this video, it appears that Kevin hasn't responded to Kwame's rant. These days, Kevin is everywhere, from our TV screens to the big screen. Although some people still don't find him funny and others have written him off because of the things he's said in the past, he remains booked and busy. In a June 2021 tweet, Kevin said he's not worried about the naysayers because he has been the highest grossing comedian in the industry for the past few years. And now he has moved into the food industry by opening his own vegan fast food restaurant. In other words, regardless of what people think about him, Kevin's going to continue to cash checks. If you enjoyed this video, let us know down below. And thanks for watching RRG.